What is going on guys? I am actually kind of happy to be making this vlog. It's one of those days where I just like randomly picked up the camera. I'm like, yo, I got 10 days left. I need to get some content out. Today, I'm just kind of going to take you guys with me through what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Nothing too, too crazy. Probably update you guys on a lot of stuff that I got planned for the future and stuff that's going on for peak week, posing, trunks like you know, you know like the stuff that i haven't really been updating you guys on so i'm with soma and we are about to go shop just a little bit she's probably going to get some outfits for cali i don't know if you guys watched that video but we're going to cali after the show chill for a couple of days i don't actually need anything i've got outfits i've got kicks i've got stuff i'm not looking to buy anything honestly a lot of clothes right now fit really differently and i don't need to be buying clothes right now because i plan to put on a little bit of weight after the show so I'm not trying to buy any clothes that fit this body style right now. Uh, I mean, hopefully she finds something. I don't know exactly what you're looking for. Joggers. Um, I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm gonna you know just what a romper is. A romper. I'm just gonna sip on this coffee and chill and just play the boyfriend and just like, I don't know. This is gonna give me life. I'm just about to walk around and chill. I went Hollywood. I'm faded in the cut. I ain't rich yet, but I made it out the mud. 23, I'm living life just how I want. Yeah, we living facts now. Yeah, we living facts now. YouTube, what you did to your present. So I bought Rashawn this gorgeous watch for Christmas, and it lasted about six days before you lost it? This one, actually, exactly. She bought me this one. And so I will never. No, it actually lasted like again. two weeks. It was like January 4th. Something like that. He I don't has remember. lost his watch privileges. I remember I was in like LA for the LA Fit Expo. Like I think that was almost like a year and a half ago. And then I don't know. I went and into the expo with the watch. I have pictures with the watch on. And then all I know is I left the expo. And I think one of the cleaners at the hotel at the West oh. End might have stole it. I swear because yes. they had to. They had to. I don't know. I left without that watch. And so. do you want to know the best part? What? You didn't even tell me, I think for four months. Yeah, because I was, was like, in Florida. fuck man, I lost this watch. I don't want to hear that, but I lost the watch, so oops. What has surprised you most about prep? What surprised me most about prep? Probably been how shitty I feel on a daily basis. If I'm being completely honest, it's how shitty I feel on a daily basis, the energy, that's probably the most surprising thing. It's because I, I always watch Pat and other guys, like other friends who compete on prep, but I didn't realize how bad it was until you're actually in it. You gotta like actually experience it. So you have it. to say you're like, surprised? I'm surprised, yeah, I'm surprised. Cause I didn't think I would be affected as much as I am. So that's probably the most surprising thing. You know what, I'm surprised? What? You haven't really had cravings. That's another thing. I have cravings, but I'm just very disciplined. But very, very what? disciplined. No, I have cravings, I'm just super disciplined. Like I've never heard you once be like, oh, I want pizza or oh, this. Trust me. Like I know you Trust want it, me. but yeah. I thought that you'd be more like, yeah. oh, maybe I can fit it, or like maybe I can ask that for a cheat day. Yeah, I'm just all about like getting it over with, you know? Like I have those cravings, but I'm like, if it's gonna set me back, I don't want to be set back any longer. Let me just, you know. You'll watch us eat everything and not yeah. even. It doesn't matter how you fit it in, you gotta compensate for it. So like, I don't want to compensate, I just want to get see, it I over with. And I think I would compensate for the food. I'm not doing that extra cardio, not me. Is this the last fit? This is the last fit. It's an eight out of 10 for me. That's pretty That's pretty high rated. I would buy it. If I did the romper with the Yeezys, what do you think? That looks really good. Yeah, rompers with the Yeezys. That's season two right there for a kosher. How about snakeskin? Nah, the snakeskin, that's a no for me. You guys won't believe this, but 10 days out and we are feasting on some burgers right now. This is one of those things where my biggest recommendation, if you're like craving something, put it in at the beginning of the day and then pretty much it eliminates all your macros so that you're just eating around that meal. So when it comes to the end of the night, it's time to eat that meal, you're all set to go. It's already plugged in. So what we got here is pretty much just two slices of regular sandwich bread, 150 grams of lean ground beef, pickles, lettuce, a little tad bit of mayo, and then some sugar-free, the same barbecue sauce that I told you guys about in the last video. So 
pretty macro friendly burger. I'll put the macros up on the screen right now. I made salmon one too. Hers is actually a lot better than mine because she has real barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. Sick. Yeah. yeah, she's got real barbecue sauce and real cheese on hers. So hers is probably tasting a lot better than mine. Oh, forgot to mention I have fat free cheese on mine. So it's a little, little different texture, a little bit of taste. But anyway, this is like going to cure my burger craving. You guys know I'm on extremely low macros right now and I'm fitting this in. I will admit all today I've really eaten is like 300 grams of egg whites and spinach chicken salads all day. So pretty much fasted to fit this in, but it's gonna fit in. So I think I'm gonna pick this vlog back up tomorrow. I'm gonna enjoy this meal, make this a two day vlog. So I'll catch you guys then. So this video is actually turned to a three day video. I actually didn't end up filming anything yesterday. So today I'm picking back up the vlog. I kind of wanted this to be like one of those lifestyle videos, not too much like in the gym, like going back to like the old days and just like you guys saw, just kicking it at the mall. And right now I'm just chilling out with Eddie. We just hit my last heavy pull day of this prep. Next week, it's gonna be peak week, so all the workouts are gonna be like very minimal. I don't wanna exhaust the muscles too much before stepping on stage, according to Pat. So once I get that whole peak week plan, I will show you guys like what it's gonna be looking like for the next week. And I'm thinking I'm gonna upload a video on that Thursday that will be like maybe like a two day out video. And then the one day out and the show day video will be one video combined, which will probably go up like either Saturday or Sunday. Day. I'm not too sure about the upload times, but I'm gonna try to get those videos out as timely as possible. I don't want it to be too far past the show before I get videos out. So pretty much after this video, I'll be expecting possibly three more videos um, regarding the Dowden series, like including the finale. So right now I'm working on posing in the WMBF. You do quarter turns and you have a front turn, side turn, back turn, and another quarter turn, and you go back to the front. So right now I'm overlaying the clips of my man mandatory posing routine. Um, it's not like bodybuilding where I like create a routine with music and stuff. It's just go through the poses as the judges say so. Pat's been giving me cues, so I'm feeling pretty confident on posing. Only thing I need to remember is keep my core tight throughout all my posing and I feel like we should be good to go. So also overlaying right now, the posing trunks that I chose for show day, powder blue baby, I'm feeling good about those. So let me know in the comment section if you guys like these trunks. Um, I'm, I'm hyped on the color. It was the exact color I was looking for and they fit really well. So yeah, man, we're wrapping it up officially at this video. We are now eight days out from the competition. So we just gotta get through these eight days, but appreciate you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna end it right here. If you are new, join the crew, subscribe to the channel, leave this video a like before you leave, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Bad days, there's a lot of bad days. There is, there is, there is.